Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent McQuarrie. This is Africa 54. Tonight we begin with the latest senseless and cowardly act of terrorism to hit a European city. British police say at least 22 people were killed and 59 wounded in an explosion Monday night outside a concert venue in Manchester, England. Immediately after the blast, witnesses say panic and hysteria ensued, triggering a stampede just as a concert by American pop star Ariana Grande was, in, was ending. The blast happened in the lobby of the 21,000 seat Manchester Arena at the end of a concert by American pop star Ariana Grande. Video from the concert showed thousands of concert goers, many of them young girls, scrambling and screaming, trying to escape the building. The lights came up after the concert and everyone was getting up to leave, and all of a sudden there was a big bang, and all of the seats like, sh like shook, and everyone just started running, people were screaming and crying, and we just tried to look for the first um, exit point, which we were right at the top, so we had to go all the way around. Worried parents who had brought their children to the show crowded the streets outside the building waiting for news. British Prime Minister Theresa May confirmed earlier statements by Manchester police that a suicide bomber detonated an improvised explosive device near one of the exits of the arena. She called Tuesday's attack one of the worst ever Britain has ever experienced. All acts of terrorism are cowardly attacks on innocent people, but this attack stands out for its appalling, sickening cowardice, deliberately targeting innocent, defenseless children and young people who should have been enjoying one of the most memorable nights of their lives. May said investigators are working to determine if the bomber acted alone or as part of a group. U.S. President Donald Trump condemned the attack Tuesday morning during his visit in Bethlehem with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. We stand in absolute solidarity with the people of the United Kingdom. So many young, beautiful, innocent people living and enjoying their lives murdered by evil losers in life. I won't call them monsters because they would like that term. They would think that's a great name. I will call them, from now on, losers, because that's what they are. They're losers. Grande was unhurt in the attack. Hours after the incident, she tweeted her grief and condolences for the victims.